Hi everyone and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and today we will talk about my most favorite tool that I use every day. It is a must have tool for me on my Mac and Windows desktop. And I save so much time every day using this tool. Why this is, you will find out in this video. So without further ado, let's dive into this. Snag it. If you know Snagit, you might think, oh my God, this guy is now telling us how to make screenshots. Yeah, I can do this as well. Wait for it. So Snagit is actually by TechSmith and TechSmith, they also created Camtasia. Camtasia is a screen recording software that you can use on Windows and a Mac. On Mac, I actually use ScreenFlow instead of Camtasia. It just works much better. It has a very hefty price. However, I use Snagit and it is much cheaper. And this is how I use Snagit. We have it here, an icon, and you have the same in Windows on the taskbar. And once you click here, you get access to several options that you can use. So we have here an image and we can capture this. So let's just go to a blog. And that's one of my productivity guides that you can get as an Inner Circle member. You can now obviously do capture and do a simple screenshot. And we made a simple screenshot. Easy, isn't it? So this is now the Snagit editor. What I have on the side here, we have several things that we can just add. Drag it in here and we can make some icons. We can blur things out. Strength of the blur, pixelate. We can even use something called simplify. So it will automatically recognize the parts of the elements on this page. And you can just switch on the button. It will automatically gray this out. And you can then later on optimize this and say, okay, I want to get rid of this. Once you switch this off, it is gone again. You also have text recognition. So right click on this, grab text, and it will analyze the screenshot and OCI and you will get editable text. See, now those are the results. But I also can go to Smart Move here on the side and it will identify all the objects in this screenshot. So I can even just double click now on this text and I have the text here and I can change the text, whatever I want, and it will stay there. So I can move this around as you can see here. I can just... And you can already imagine what I can do there. Obviously you can do the simple stuff like adding new text. Um, the good thing is you can just optimize this on the go. We can highlight stuff. We can have different steps. So if you just want to describe something, this, as soon you add a second step, see, it makes a two out of it. You can just turn this around, step three. Step four, you can make different colors. This is already very nice if you want to explain something. You can magnify stuff. Bam, outline. You can then change the magnification on the go. You can change the line width, the shape, the size of the magnification. Works very well as well. And I mean, it looks a bit messy, but you get the idea. And there's so much more we can do in this just using a simple screenshot okay so you might say okay i can do this with uh, other snipping tools and so on but now look at this we can also change here to panoramic screen capture and that's one of the most important features for me so what i can do i just select this but there will be a start button that i press and hold and now i can scroll down now you see this again see it is recording and already showing me a preview what it's capturing. And now I think you get an idea this way. I'm just recording the whole page. And there we have it. We have the whole website now as a screenshot. And I think that is really powerful, see? And I can now do exactly the same stuff as I did before. We can even do cutouts, for example. So we say, okay, I don't want to have this. Just do this and bam. I cut this out, so I cut this out. See, it's not even there anymore. You can also make this horizontal to cut out. See, the whole page is now cut out horizontally. So I can say, okay, I want to cut out the whole right side. So I think this is really powerful and obviously then you can use the highlighter and so on. So I think this is already very powerful. But what I also do, especially when I do my videos and work instructions, I use the video capture. And yes, I use ScreenFlow and so on, but this is so much more straightforward. I just go to video. 
I can select the screen, uh, the region again, and I just start capturing it. So see, it is selecting. No, oh, maybe probably you don't see this, but I can select certain frames, start recording. Now you see it's starting recording. You see on top the information that it is recording. Now I can do whatever I need. Let's say I'm recording this and I didn't want the recording to start on this page. Well, when we finish recording, you will see in a second how powerful this is. So here are some of my courses. Let's say you want to go there and then I go there and I explain you how to reach the courses, for example, work instruction. And then I stop the recording. So what we can do now, and this is really the powerful thing. I have now the recording here. And let's say the beginning was a waste, okay? That's just something we don't need to see. We want to start where I was talking about the courses. I go to the point where I started showing, where I can access the courses. And then I grab the little green handle there and just drag this out. And now I can cut it and see it's gone. So now it's starting directly there. And now we go there and you're here on the courses. And now let's say we want to finish here instead of going further to this point. I take the red handle, drag it out and cut it. And now we have it. We have only the small animation here. So you see on the bottom here, screenshots I made previously. That's great. So you can keep doing recordings and screenshots and it will be safe there. Actually really in a folder. So for this example here, we can do right click reveal in finder. And there we go. We have all the Snagit projects here. So you see it, it's filling up. You can delete this then later on. However, I can go really back in history and I won't lose anything that I was talking about. Then here for the screen recording again, I can now save this, edit as a new copy or we can replace the actual copy. So that's what we will do. So once you saved this, we can right click on this and go to reveal in finder. And you see this is already saved as a MP4. So when I click on this, this is already a finished video file. There's no more conversion I need to do. I can already use this in my video editing. And the best part about this is, this is how I do the explanation in my videos, because all I need to do later on, I can directly take this file from here and drag it over into my Premiere Pro, my video editing software. And this is really awesome. That's saving so much time. Otherwise I would need to record it, then convert it and, and export it and, and so on. Here, I just need to drag it, drop it into my video editing software. And I think this is really powerful, but there's more. And as you know, I'm building up my wikis in Notion and this is how I'm building this up. So I have the header and all I need to do, I just drag and drop it into Notion and it is uploading this MP4. So you saw I was just doing the recording. I cut it already in here and I can just drag it, drop it into Notion. And now what you will see, I have the video recording there. So this is how I create work instructions, but there's more. You have here a button that is called GIF. So you can create a simple GIF animation out of this. See, now we have the GIF animation and here you go, how to publish a new blog post. And here's an example of one of the work instructions that I created for my team member. And here you see the GIF animations See going like this. So it's much easier to explain stuff in video or in GIF animations. And this is what is the most powerful thing for me to do. Also, when I'm talking to my members in Slack and I want to show them something like, you know, we are working on some design and so on and want to, to change something. That's what I do. I make a screenshot. I make uh, these arrows and so on and make this description. It is much more straightforward and clear what to do. I also add it to ClickUp. Wherever people need further instructions, this is so much better than just writing text. The last thing I want to show you about Snagit is that you can actually share it on screencast.com. This is for free. You know this from Loom and the screen recordings. And if you want to share this in the web with other people via email or something like that, where you're explaining stuff, this is also possible. All you need to do is click on your MP4, go to share and share it to Screencast. Screencast is also a platform provided by TechSmith, but it is for free. It's included when you have the Snagit license and you saw it's 50 euros. I mean, for this, what saves me on time, 
this is absolutely worth it. There we go. You see here all my screencasts that I did before. These are the uploaded videos that I have there. And I could now, you know, add them to folders. I, so I can always go back to this if I want to reshare it with anyone later on. And here we have our screen recording that we just recreated. All we need to do is click this link. You have a share button. You can even embed this on your website. It's unbelievable. We can also embed this now into our wiki. So you don't even have to import it. We can just go to Notion or any other application that allows embed. And there we go. The video is loading. We have embedded the video without uploading it to Notion. So if you want to keep it on your screencast, this is also working. And you can also invite people to watch it there. However, I usually take this link and bring it into the email and send it to the person who needs the information. Or if it is for my team, I obviously add it directly to my work instructions so it stays there and we don't have loads of different information. You also have the option to comment and so on, things that you know from Loom and it also replaces Loom for this reason. So I hope I was able to show you how powerful Snagit actually is and why I use it on a daily basis. To be very clear, this is not sponsored by TechSmith. This is sponsored by you. If you want to support my channel to stay not sponsored and stay unbiased in my reviews, there's a join button next to the subscribe button. And I don't have to reach out to companies to ask for sponsors because I just don't want to do this. I want to do it for you. I want to talk about my own thoughts and opinions and I want to stay this way. So thank you very much for all your support so far. And if you're an Inner Circle member and you go to my website and you go here in a circle and to discounts, I'm also able to offer you a discount for Snagit for 15% off and Campasia for 10% off if you're interested in this. But as I said, this is not sponsored by TechSmith. I reached out to them and asked if I have an option to get a discount for my Inner Circle members. And as usual, this video video is sponsored by you and therefore I thank you very much for your support. This is the reason why I'm able to buy the tools, buy the tech that I'm using here and recommend it to you, showing it to you. Really thankful for this. If you want to learn more in the future about tools like Snagit and other productivity tools, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you up next time.